What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another favorites video for you. So today's video is going to be an interesting one because I'm actually going to be doing an updated version of my favorite red nail polishes. So back in June 2019, I started this series of my favorite nail polishes of all time. It's something that I'm still doing and I've also expanded that into a somewhat separate series of my favorite nail polishes that have come out for each season. But it's been a couple of years since I did that favorite reds video and I figured it was time for an update. I have gotten into more red nail polishes since then. There were some polishes that I didn't mention in the video that I really wish I had. And this update is not to say that my previous picks weren't good. Some of them I actually am repeating in here, but you know, over time your tastes change, you learn about new polishes, and I figured I would tell you guys my new thoughts. So as with the original video, there are going to be some polishes in here that are no longer available, but a part of the reason why I wanted to do this series in the first place was to help people realize what they had in their collection already that they might not even remember. So maybe this will help you revitalize your interest in some of your old polishes. But yeah, let's get into it. I have 16 polishes to go over today, which is kind of annoying. I really wanted to narrow it down to 15, but I figured I may as well just keep them all in here. So the way that I'm breaking it down is I've got six polishes that are creams that are your standard red cream finishes. Some of them have that jelly like formula as well. And then we've got 10 non cream finishes. So the shimmers, the glitters, the hollow, that kind of stuff. And of course, a couple of these shades, especially in the cream category are very similar, but I am going to be doing a little comparison chart at the end, which fun fact is something that I did not do in the original video. So we are improving. So yeah, let's just get started with a classic. This is OPI Big Apple Red. And let me tell you, this was probably the polish that the majority of people mentioned in the comments of my original video. And a lot of people were surprised to see that it was not on my original favorites list. And the reason for that is because I actually did not own it, but ever since I finally ordered it, I realized what all the hype is about. So it's just a classic red cream. It has the tiniest touch of a cool undertone, so it doesn't lean orangey at all. And one of the reasons that I really found myself falling in love with this color is because it's actually a cream finish rather than that jelly-like, almost translucent finish that you see with a lot of red nail polishes. I actually do have a few of those jelly-like finishes in this list because I I am a fan of them, but I just feel like it's really rare to find a full cream finish. So when I do, I tend to like that polish a lot just because it's easier for, you know, full coverage manicures, for nail art, that sort of thing. And because of that cream finish, this one is actually a one coater on me. I'm going to be showing you guys two coats of all of the polishes that I'm sharing today, but a few of them are one coaters because I do have short nails. So moving on to the next red cream, we have Morgan Taylor Stilettos in the Snow. And this is actually a very similar shade to OPI Big Apple Red. It does have that same full cream finish. It's another one that's one coat on me. The biggest difference in this one is the undertone and it's really hard to tell because they are very similar shades, but this one is slightly warmer. So this one's actually relatively new to my collection. I got it last year in the Morgan Taylor Holiday collection, but it immediately became a favorite. I just really love the opacity of it. I loved the formula. Morgan Taylor in general actually really reminds me of OPI, so I think it's kind of funny that these two shades are so similar, but yeah, I just really enjoyed this one and it really made me appreciate Morgan Taylor a little bit more. So I've been reviewing them a lot more and I'm just finding myself really enjoying the brand. Next up, we have one from Sally Hansen. This one is called Cherry Delightful. And I've always said that there are two brands that I feel like are just the best when it comes to red nail polish. And that is OPI and Sally Hansen. And this one was actually one of my original favorites, but I do think it deserves a repeat. It's one that I still find myself using over and over. This one's actually more of a Crelly formula. I feel like it hovers somewhere between being a sheer jelly and being an opaque cream. It's actually a little bit brighter than the first two shades, but it's a really great classic any time of year shade. I feel like the other two reds are just a little bit deeper. So this one is actually part of their complete salon manicure line, which I'm actually not a huge fan of this particular line of Sally Hansen, but I just feel like this color is too good to ignore. I do have some other lines of Sally Hansen in this list, and one of them is actually my favorite line by them, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Next up, we have another Sally Hansen one. This one's called Class Act. This was actually another shade that was on my original favorites list, but I feel like it deserves repeating because this is my go-to red polish for the summer. It's definitely the lightest of the cream finishes that I'm sharing. And because of that, I just feel like it's the most summery. And it also has more of a jelly-like formula. So it's got a bit of that squishiness and sheerness. So you can still see a touch of that visible nail line in the second coat. But I personally love the jelly look, especially in the summer. There's just 
just something about it that feels very summery to me. And I do actually really enjoy this Mega Strength line. It's a line that I used from Sally Hansen when my nails were feeling a little bit more brittle and weak. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but it does make me feel a little bit better having it on my nails. By the way, the Mega Strength line is actually Sally Hansen's thinnest nail polish brush. Some of them are extremely thick. Some of them are a little bit thinner like this one. So if you are not a fan of Sally Hansen because of the brush, I think this is a good line to check out. Next up, we have Picture Polish Stamped Red. And this one is really the outlier of my red creams because as you can guess from the name, it is actually a stamping nail polish, but I feel like it's worth mentioning because you can wear it as a full coverage manicure. It's just, it's very creamy and very opaque, but it's still workable on the nail. It's not too thick like some stamping polishes are in my experience. And it also has a little bit of a dustiness to it, which I feel like makes the color pretty unique. I don't know, I, I feel like it almost makes the red look softer rather than like very vibrant bold in your face red it's like almost like a light red and of course you get the bonus of being able to exactly match your full painted nails with stamped nails so i think that's one of the reasons why i really love it it's not extremely self-leveling but i still feel like it's easy enough to work around that it's not an issue and then we have the last of the creams this is sally hansen cine snap this was yet another one that was on my original list that i think deserves repeating and finally we are at my favorite sally hansen formula which is their insta dry line i absolutely love it i just feel like this particular line from sally hansen is usually very opaque and very creamy but it's not too thick that it becomes difficult to use on your nails and I think this color in particular is really nice especially in the fall and winter it's like this deep burgundy red kind of color and by the way I know I still owe you guys a video on my favorite like deep dark reds like vampy colors stuff like that I'm definitely planning on doing it but I did want to give you guys an updated reds first but yeah this is one of the lines from Sally Hansen that has a massively wide brush but honestly I feel like it's worth it for this formula it's just my favorite that they do so those were my favorite cream finishes and I know I didn't have too many and a lot of them were repeats but I feel like once I find a red that works for me I tend to stick to it and honestly I don't wear red that often so I feel like I've kind of covered all of my bases I've got like my lighter red my summery red my deep fall winter red and then I have like my classic reds but yeah let's move on to the non cream finishes like I said I do have 10 of them some of them are newer polishes some of them are older polishes and I just feel like I didn't give enough attention to the non cream finishes in my original video I think I was just a little hesitant to talk about those polishes because I really want wanted to have an emphasis on dupe polishes, but this favorite series has evolved into sharing a wider variety of polishes. So I'm really excited to share these ones with you guys. So we'll start off with OPI Danka Shiny Red. This one actually was in my original favorites, but this is just a classic color. It's always going to make it to my favorites list because it has such a sentimental value to me. It was actually one of the first polishes that I bought when I was really getting into nail polish. And it was also one of the first like non-drugstore polishes I bought. So it really opened up my world to a lot more different types of polishes and because of that I just really love it. I mean beyond the nostalgic factor I feel like this color in general is just absolutely stunning. It's on the warm side and it's definitely very bright so you can really wear this in the summer but I also feel like that shimmer gives it a nice holiday vibe as well. It's really just an any time of year shimmer if you ask me. Next up we have another OPI. This is A Little Gilt Under the Kilt. This one is actually another red shimmer but this one is slightly deeper and then the one thing about this polish that makes it a little bit unique in my opinion is that there's this extra sparkle like little tiny flecks in the polish which I think makes it really special and I think because of that it just feels like such a nice holiday color it's very deep it's very rich it's very vibrant and I just love that subtle sparkle in there I just I think it's another great OPI red shade. Next up we have another OPI shimmer. There's only two more of these I promise but OPI is just very good at making these red shimmers. This one is I'm not really a waitress and this is an even deeper red that has a shimmer running throughout and again we have that nice pinky undertone to it so it's a little bit on the cooler side and this one is actually a pretty old polish but it's relatively new to my collection. It's actually one of the most popular OPI colors but for some reason I 
never owned it, but now that I do, I absolutely love it. There's just something about this simple shimmer formula that OPI does really well, especially for reds, which is one of the reasons why they're like my go-to red polish brand. But this one in particular is a little bit different in that it's super opaque. This one is actually another one that ends up being like one coat on me pretty much, which I feel like is just very impressive. So they did an incredible job with this one. Okay, this is the last of the OPIs, don't worry. This one is Raisin Your Voice. And this was part of their fairly new Nature Strong line. And by the way, this is also what I'm wearing on my nails right now. It's just this gorgeous deep red shimmer that's packed with silver flecks. And I feel like those flecks in there add so much depth and dimension to the color. And again, it has that sort of pinky undertone to it. And it's just another one that's really opaque, pretty much one coat on me for full coverage. And it was definitely a standout color for me from their new Nature Strong line. It just feels very rich, but also very bright and vibrant. I think this is going to be a very nice holiday color. Next up, we have another Sally Hansen. This one is Bordeaux Glow. And this is actually part of their Miracle Gel line. Although I do want to make a quick disclaimer, their Miracle Gel line is not real gel polishes. They dry by air, not by LED or UV lamps. So don't be deterred by the name. This one is a really pretty deep red shimmer that's honestly verging on being a sort of metallic shade. And it also has that pinky undertone to it. This is a color that I reach for when I want that really intense foiled shimmer effect. And this is another one that is super opaque on me. It's again, pretty much a one coater. So this is really useful in nail art as well. And again, I just feel like this is another great wintry red color. I am actually a big fan of the Miracle Gel line, but it is a pet peeve of mine when brands call their polishes gel when they're not gels. I just like to let you guys know because some people are like, oh, I love that color, but I don't use gels. So this one's not a gel. <laughs> Moving on, we have Zoya Posh, and this was actually part of their matte velvet collection that they did a while back, actually. But let me tell you, the matte velvets will always have a very special place in my heart. There's just something really gorgeous about a shimmer polish that has a matte finish. It really does just look like velvet on the nails, and I feel like this deep red really suits that style very perfectly. I'm pretty sure they don't make the matte velvets anymore, which is really a shame because they were all stunning, but it is really easy to get this finish on your nails. You can just use a shimmery shade and then just top it with matte top coat. Like Bordeaux Glow is actually a great option for that because it's more of that like metallic-y shimmer. Those types of shimmers work really well for this style. Next up we have one I could not resist adding. This is Starly Infrared. And full disclosure, this is one of my collaboration polishes with Starly. I just couldn't do a video on favorite reds without mentioning it because of course it is exactly the kind of red that I wanted to exist in the world, so we made it. So it's this deep red base that has a really intense golden shimmer running throughout, and then it also has these larger holographic flecks. And because that red base is like almost jelly-like, it actually makes those deeper flecks look pink, which I feel like is just like a fun little detail. And this is another one that is extremely opaque. I've worn it in one coat. I think it's so creamy and easy to use. I know I'm a little bit biased, but I just cannot get enough of this color. Next up, we have a one from China Glaze. This is Ho Ho No. And this is actually one of the polishes that was on my original list as well. It's this super warm, almost orangey red base that has these golden flecks running throughout. And this was actually a part of their Grinch collection that they did a while back, which was honestly one of my top China Glaze collections of all time. They had so many fun glittery shades in here. And I think this was also when they first switched their brush over to the wide flat brush. It just really made me fall in love with the brand all over again. I completely love these polishes, but this one is just a really fun red. Next up, we have China Glaze Ruby Pumps. This is my go-to red glitter, and it has been for years. It's this gorgeous red jelly base that's absolutely packed with red micro glitters, and the final effect is just so beautiful and sparkly. It's just a really eye-catching color. Honestly, sometimes I'll do one coat of it over red cream just to kind of make the bottle last a little bit longer but it is a polish that can be worn in full coverage. And with that full coverage, it just looks so 
deep and intense and sparkly. I just can't get enough of this one. Absolutely love it. And the last polish on my list of favorites is actually a bit of a bittersweet pick for me. This is Enchanted Jingles. So I have been a big fan of Enchanted. They are an indie brand that I really started to fall in love with over the last year. Unfortunately, the brand did make the decision to close down due to the owner's health issues, which is definitely sad news. I really do wish her the best and good health, but I will definitely be cherishing my Enchanted polishes because like I said, it is a brand that I have come to love so much. So this polish is no longer available, but I did think it was worth mentioning because it is just an absolute favorite red in my collection. It's this stunning red base that's just packed with red holographic mini glitters. So it's basically like the holographic sister to Ruby Pumps. It's just so sparkly and festive and bright. It's really the perfect holiday red, but I also love hollows in the summer too. And honestly, the formula of this is just unreal. I know I always say that Enchanted Polish is buttery, but let me tell you, it is true. I feel like normally chunky glitter polishes like this would be so thick and difficult to apply, but this one really just applies like butter. So yeah, those are my top 16 favorite red nail polishes, my updated version. Like I said, we did have a couple of repeats from the last video, but I wanted to share with you all of my new discoveries and favorites. As always, all of the polishes that are available are going to be linked in the description so you can check those out if you're interested in picking any of them up. I am curious to hear from you guys if you have any overlapping favorites with me or if there are any red nail polishes that I didn't mention that you absolutely think I should try. But yeah, if you enjoy my favorite series, please give this one a thumbs up. And if you have any requests for a color or finish that you want to see next, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll also put a little playlist card up so you can see all of the colors I have already done. And of course, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And a huge shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Braxton, Scott, and Kristen. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, this is actually really funny. I promise I did not see this before just scrolling through my fun fact questions just now. But today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Autumn. And Autumn wants to know, do you ever go back to your old videos like to remind yourself of a particular shade? If so, are there any opinions of past Kelly you maybe don't believe anymore? That is really a very timely question. That's a good one for today's video. So I will say in general, I absolutely do not watch my old videos. I feel like I cringe watching myself. So after I am done editing a video, I pretty much do not watch it. It just I can't. I feel like my opinions definitely do change. Sometimes there's a polish that I don't really love, but as I wear it more and more, I find myself liking it more. And that usually just applies to a color, not a formula. So if a polish is a good formula, but it's not a color I love, I might find myself liking it, but I don't usually change my mind on formulas. But I did go back and watch parts of the original Red Favorites video because I wanted to know which of my favorites I was still using. Basically, the way that I did this video was I pulled out all of my favorite reds and then I checked that video to see if any of them were repeats because I genuinely couldn't remember. As a rule, generally, I do not go back and watch old videos. I just feel like it's hard to watch myself. I'm constantly like noticing little mistakes or things that I should have said differently. Not, not a huge fan of my old video self. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.